All right, we're going to start with reviewing a newer shooter first. Uh, every time that they release the arrow, Mantis is basically going to save a snapshot of everything that they just did, and it's going to display it on the screen like this. So we have this bottom bar at the bottom, where if you move the dot, you can animate through the trace, and we can go through all different stages of the shot. So blue and green is going to be the setup coming up. Blue is going to be that movement coming down. Yellow is the movement coming onto the target. And then as we get into the orange, that is when the, the shooter starts getting into their hole just before they release the arrow. What we'll notice here is that for this shooter, they're actually coming underneath their point of aim, so they will eventually have to come back up to the target before they release. Once we get into this orange part, this is also where we're going to give you a stability score. The lower the score, the more movement that there was just before they released the arrow. Just, be just below the score in the top right, you're going to see kind of a graphic that's going to highlight uh, the movement that they are making. So green is up and down, pink is left and right. And you'll see just before they release the arrow, they are shaking quite a bit, and they also go up towards the right just before they release the arrow as well, until eventually they release. Where the white X is when they release the arrow, the red X is when the arrow has actually left the bow. And then the red is the follow-through of the shot, which can, which can go upwards because if the mantis is attached to your riser, the, uh, the bow may kick forward showing that upward movement. You'll be able to review each session or each shot individually, but you can also look at your consistency by stacking them all on top of each other by selecting either setup, hold, or release at the bottom. If you tap on setup, it will overlay all your shots on top of each other so that the X's line up. And we'll be able to see on this shooter that the consistency on their setup, uh, they always start about the same, but sometimes they come a little bit high, sometimes they come a little bit low. If we go into their hold, we'll see that they always come onto the target about the same path, but they always come underneath their point of aim for each shot that they make, and there's a lot of shaking movement going on as they're underneath that point of aim. All that movement is going to result in inconsistency, which is going to result in inaccuracy as well. If we look at the consistency of their release, we'll see that they're always coming up towards the right slightly just before they release the arrow, and the shots are always going off towards the right as they release the arrow. Ideally, the white and red X should be a lot closer together, but we can review that later when we look at a more advanced shooter. At the top, if you tap on the pitch camp view, that's going to give you a, uh, a separate view that's gonna show you the elevation of the bow and the cant of the bow every time you release the arrow. And if you're aiming at the same target, ideally you want these to be fairly consistent as well. The placement view, this is optional, but when you go and select, uh, when you pull your arrows out of the target, you can in the app then select where each arrow landed. And if there was an outlier that went off towards the left or off towards the right, you'd then be able to go back, review that in your trace and see, did you do anything different in that shot versus your other ones? So this is a newer shooter. If we go to it, a more advanced shooter, we're gonna see that it's gonna be a lot more consistent and a lot more stable. So when we animate through this, a more advanced shot, blue is their setup coming up, green's their setup coming down. We're going to see as they come onto the target, it's going to be a lot smoother motion, which is going to give them a much higher score. And that graphic toward, up towards the right is going to be a nice, a nice smooth cross, not a whole lot of shaking at all. The white and red X are much closer together when they release the arrow, when the arrow's actually left the bow. And then the follow through, the bow comes back down, getting ready into their next shot. If we look at their consistency, we're going to see that the shots are basically the setups are always the same. The hold coming onto the target is basically always the same. And the release, just as a release in the arrow, it may have seemed like there's a lot of movement actually going on there, but that's because we're zoomed in so much. If you zoom out, you'll see that the bow basically doesn't move at all every time they release the arrow. Each one of these gray rings represents half a degree. Each one of the red rings represents uh, five degrees. So basically the bow's moving less than half a degree for each arrow that they're releasing. If we look at their pitch cant, it's basically the same. Cant of the bow is always the same. Elevation's about the same as well. And we're going to see that this shooter is much more consistent, much more stable than the previous shooter.